another video game haul video. This week I have games from a half price bookstore because that's all I can find right now because like, garage sales are essentially non-existent in my state because it's, because it's like 40 degrees and no one wants to be a part of that. So I'm going to grab a game and show you and you know how this works. You've been around the block a few times. God, I'm so weird. Okay, first game I have is, if I can hold it up correctly, Siphon Filter. Unsurprisingly for me, I have a hair in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I didn't play this growing up. It just wasn't my kind of game. Um, it just probably looked too, uh, I don't know what, I could, uh, uh, too shooty-y, too action-y, too technical-y, too futuristic-y, if any of those make sense. Uh, I was more of a JRPG kind of gal, so I unfortunately missed this, um, but maybe someday I'll, I'll get to it like everything else. The next game is pretty dusty, and it is Tomb Raider Chronicles. Uh, I don't know if I have this one. I don't remember seeing this cover. I'll have to look at my uh, PlayStation shelf. But, oh my god, this hair. This hair. I don't know why it keeps trying to find its way into my mouth. Jeez. Tomb Raider movie starring Angelina Jolie coming summer of 2001. All right, friends, you got to tell me which Tomb Raider... This is a dumb question, but if I want to start playing the Tomb Raider games, like I've played the new ones, obviously Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, blah, blah, blah. But if I want to play these old school ba babies, bad boys, which one? Do I, do I start with the first one and work my way up? Or is there one over the other that I should play? I don't have too much time, but if I could squeeze one of these in, I totally will. Because damn it, I need to. The next game I have is, ooh, L.A. Noir. Oh, the complete edition. Look at that fancy, fancy, sh what makes it complete? Oh, ah, that's exciting. It's always exciting when it's complete, uh, especially for me. Damn it, I never played this one either. However, it is one that I was very, very interested in. When did this come out, 2011? I feel like I saw a behind the scenes or a behind closed doors or a theater or something presentation of this at a game convention. I can't remember if, if it was an E3 or if it was like a PAX or something. But I was very, very intrigued by it because of the setting. I just like the idea of like uncovering mysteries and finding evidence and putting two and two together. And I also heard from one of my good friends that it's a really fun game. It's a really fun game to play with someone else. Granted, it's not co-op, it's one player, but when you have two people sitting next to each other and trying to like figure out like who did it or putting the clues together. Anyway, that's my understanding of what he said. I think he played with his wife. So uh, that's cool. I, I have a sealed copy of this song because I fully intended to play it and I never did. Ba -ba -ba -boo! Call of Duty 2, big red one. <laughs> and one of the best looking shooters to ever grace consoles right there from IGN. The next game is... What? Didn't I already show you guys this game unless this is another one? Shit, I don't know. I don't know if this is the same one that I showed in a couple videos back or if I got another copy of it because it would have been funny. Oh boy, eh. Thinking! Actually, props to you guys because I didn't even know this was like a real thing and then you guys told me that there was a whole bunch of these kind of games released for Burger King uh, and that you collected them and I think that's freaking hilarious and amazing. And I never would have known that had you not told me. I just thought it was a silly thing. Yeah. The next game I'll have is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers and it feels pretty light. Ah yes, no manual. Boo! Uh, I think I've talked about this before on some of my videos, but I have a weird hesitation to when, I, when it comes to playing uh, games that are based off of films, like especially like Lord of the Rings, because I just have like this gut sinking feeling that it's just like a cheap, cheap way to make money and that not a lot of effort and whatever is going to go into the game, it's just a quick cash grab. That said, I mean that's, I, I, I try not to think that way anymore because I know that's not always true. And a good example of that is Lord of the Rings War in the North, which is a really, really fun uh, Lord of the Rings game, action adventure RPG game, and it's co-op too, which is really fun. But if you have any idea of another good Lord of the Rings game, let me know. Let me know. Thanks. Dark Angel with Jessica. That's Jessica Alba, right? Isn't that Jessica Alba? I think so. Ooh. Mm. Oh, everything's in here. Sweet! I, you know, I'm sure some of you out there have played this, and if so, I probably will never get around to this in my lifetime. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are of the game. Not just Calba. I already know what your thoughts are on those, because they're my thoughts, too. No, 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 no,
Wait. Ah, I, I see what I did there. See, I had to get I had to get both of them because one was the platinum edition or platinum hits, excuse me, and the other one was the regular. So you know you have to own two. This is why I end up with 18 copies of like different games of the like Halo. Why do I have 25 copies of Halo? I don't know. I really don't have 25 copies of Halo, but it seems like I do. Wolfenstein, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. You know, I, what are the most recent Wolfenstein no manual games that came out? Um, shit, I can't remember, but I know someone who was playing them and he freaking loved them. He said they were really, really good. The most recent ones, you guys know what I'm talking about. I can't remember like the actual name of them, but maybe it was just Wolfenstein. I don't fucking know. Anywho, yeah, so while well, I, I don't know if I'll ever get to this one, I think for sure I want to try the other ones that came out because I was watching him play and I was like, that actually looks really fun. I need to play that, and I never did. Next game is Medal of Honor Frontline. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought this was one of the games I played with my dad back in the day, but it's a one-player game, so I didn't. So I probably didn't play this one, unless my dad played this one. I just got like a rush of memories of him playing a Medal of Honor game. I think that could have been on PlayStation. Anyway, it was really funny because he would play these Medal of Honor games by himself, or it was called Duty One or the other, I don't remember. And he, <laughs> you had to like sidestep side step down an alley and try to be all stealthy and shit. And so he would literally stand up with his controller and like go sideways and like try to sidestep around the couch. And I don't know. It's funny. If you know my dad, it, it, it was funny. It, okay. The next game I have is Now this one my dad and I did play together, the Cabela's Trophy Bucks. My favorite Cabela's games though are the Cabela's Dangerous Hunts because you get like mauled by creatures and it's awesome. But no, we did play these games a lot together and we had a pretty good time with them because back in the day, you know, remember Deer Hunter? Back, so, Deer Hunter, I got that, the first Deer Hunter game and it was the kind of game where you, it wasn't like advanced technology enough for you to actually like run throughout the woods and explore woods, it was more of like, you stood there in the middle of a huge clearing and you would like look around from like side to side and every now and again a buck would be coming out of the woods and then you try to shoot it and then it would run away and then you would just be screwed. So when this one came out, it was a really big deal because we're like, oh, we can actually run through the woods and stuff. All right, story time's over. Our second to last game, roll out of the matrix. Guys, oh, game crazy. Remember game crazy? I remember game crazy. Oh, it's so shiny. Um, I think I've seen Enter the Matrix. <laughs> and this is what you guys are going to hate me for. So I think I've seen it. I don't remember quite. I remember I've seen bits and pieces, but I can't tell you if I've actually just like sat down and watched it from start to finish. And I know that like removes half of my nerd card. I'm sorry and I apologize. But, uh, it was just one of those, like, at the time, like, science fiction, and I really wasn't into science fiction. I was more into, like, fantasy medieval, give me, like, moats and dragons and castles and shit. So I didn't really think I'd be into it. I gotta remedy that. I have to make sure that I've seen this. Last but not least is Battle for the Pacific, the History Channel. Oh, yes. I wonder how, are you guys, I mean, out of curiosity, any of you play this one? Because, uh, I mean, again, not to sound like a snob, but... Well, I guess Activision published it, but you know, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, anyway, so uh, yeah, it's history, the History Channel, Bat Battle of the Pacific, and I'm all tongue-tied now. Uh, if you played this, let me know, and let me know how it did, because, you know, again, I'm a snob, and I like History Channel, man, that's a quick cash grab. How could, I, I can't think that way anymore. I'm stopping that way of thinking. That is my 2017 New Year's resolution. Yes, friends, that's right. My 2017 New Year's resolution is not to judge a game based off of the notion that it could be a quick cash grab based off of the notion of hundreds of games before it that the thing that I'm trying not to do has been done. What? Never mind. That made no sense. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this shit show of a video. I hope you were somewhat uh, entertained and just I, whatever. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.